What is vibe coding? Vibe coding is the process of using AI to build out an application, a website, or a game. It's become really popular, especially on Twitter slash X. People are sharing some really cool projects that they're just building with AI. So in this video, I thought I would show you some of the cool tools that people are using, and then we'll walk through a live demo of creating a game with AI. So we'll be live vibe coding. Okay, starting from the top, this is Windsurf. This is by Codium. This is the AI editor that I will be using throughout this video. I've been a big fan of it for quite a while. I did use Cursor before this. Cursor is another AI code editor. Both very, very good. I highly recommend downloading them. They have a really generous free plan. There's also Zed. Zed is an open source editor. I think that kind of helps developers choose this over other editors. Haven't had a chance to check it out, but it looks pretty cool. There are also some browser-based editors that you can use, such as Bolt.new, Lovable, and Replit. There's also another one called Claude Code, and this is one that has become pretty popular, and this is a terminal-based uh, chat that you can talk with and create applications, games, websites. Okay, enough with that. Let's dive into the meat and potatoes and jump into our code editor. So I have a simple app in front of me that it's just a folder that says vibe project. So I'm going to create a new index.html and let's start things off. How about we're just going to keep it simple. We'll just say tick tack toe game. Okay. So we're going to select this and then I use uh, on Mac, it's command L to open up cascade. And this is pretty common among many of the editors. They have like an interface that you can select the code and then you chat with over here. So it has the context of the code that I just selected. And I can say, I want you to create a simple tick tack toe game for me to play against the computer. Uh, serve this up on a local server. So it takes just a few minutes and uh, you'll see that it's going to start talking to me and saying, I'll create the simple tic-tac-toe game. The cool thing that I like about Windsurf is it will actually give you a diff. You can see that it shows the difference of what I had before and then what I have now. So this is the simple tic-tac-toe game. I can say discard if I don't want to use this, or I can say keep changes if I want to use it. So it looks like they have a script.js. They also have a style.css. So this is cool. It's creating all the files for me. And this is just going to be a simple example of tic-tac-toe. I can dig into the style. This is what it looks like right here. So it looks like we're just doing standard HTML tic-tac-toe. I could also tell it, I want you to use HTML canvas to create the tic-tac-toe game and it will change it from there. So let's see, it is creating the script right now. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. So I can keep changes. And it's saying, do you want me to run the server here? I'll accept. And it is starting the server, Python 3. You may be wondering about the shades. I thought they would be very fitting for a video called Vibe Coding. So this is cool about uh, Windsurf is they actually have a live preview. So I can open up the preview right here. I can say, okay, my turn, X, uh, let me go right there. Oh, boom, block him, and I'm going to win. Bam. Uh, yeah, just like that, I vibe coded a tic-tac-toe game. Of course, you can code even more advanced games. Like people are doing crazy 3JS worlds where you can uh, fly in a plane or drive in a boat. Uh, I'll be sure to post some links that I've found uh, below the video. But that was just a simple introduction into what is vibe coding. Many people think that it is a bad thing because people are generating apps and websites that have potential bugs. And that is true. If you're creating some production application and you don't know any of the code, that could get very dangerous. But for the sake of people learning how to code, I think this is really cool. They can create a game and they can come in here into the script file and learn a bit about what's going on. I also think if you are a seasoned developer, this is really cool because there are some mundane tasks that you maybe don't want to do. And you can say, hey, AI generate this for me, or AI could even start off the project for you. 
It could start building it and then you could jump in, tweak a little bit and go back and forth with the AI and yourself. So that is a quick rundown of what vibe coding is. Hope you guys have a great day. Happy vibe coding.